Assalamualaikum. Hi guys. So today we want to discuss the special cases in simple interest. Okay. First special case. The amount of investment is added or deducted during the investment period. Okay, look at the investment period from zero until at the end of the investment period denoted by T2. What is the T1? Okay, next, the principal value. Start with P1, but here at first T, the principal value denoted by P2. So, how to calculate the accumulated amount at the end of the investment period? Look at here. Okay. Let's say you want to calculate for first principal value from zero until at the end of the investment period. So that one denoted by S1. Next. We want to calculate the simple amount for P2 if the investment period between T1 and T2. So that one is represented by S2. Therefore, the total amount equal to S1 plus S2. Remember that this one based on the amount of investment is added or deducted during the investment period. Okay, let's try this example. Afia made two deposits of 1500 each at a bank that offers simple interest rate of 8.5% per annum. The first deposit was made in 1st May 2020 and the second was in 1st August 2020. Calculate the total amount in her saving account on 30 November 2020. So, look at here. Afia made two deposit means first principal value and then second principal value. So, P1 equal to 1500, P2 also 1500. Next, the information given is interest rate which is 8.5%. So this one, the simple interest rate not changed means 8.5% is applicable for both deposits. Okay. Then the duration is different between first and second deposit which is first deposit start from first May. 2020 until 30 November 2020. Meanwhile, second deposit start at 1st August 2020 until 30 November 2020. Okay. So, this is all the information based on the example. How to calculate the total amount? Okay, first, Calculate first simple amount means from 1st May 2020 to 30 November 2020. So look at here, the first term equal to 213 days. Make sure you use exact time method to calculate the number of days. Substitute then at the end the simple amount for the first term equal to 1575.55 but remember this one using banker's rule concept the denominator always 360 next calculate second simple amount based on this number of days 121 days from 1st August 2020 to 30 November 2020 using exact time method. Substitute 
at the end, second simple amount equal to 1542.85. So same as first simple amount, the term here in number of days, therefore, the denominator is 360. Final answer. So the total amount in Afia saving account on 30 November 2020 equal to RM 3118.40. So this one special case to represent what happened for the accumulated amount if the amount of investment is added during the investment period. But you can also use this concept to calculate the total amount of loan is added during the loan period. Okay, now we proceed to second special case. Simple interest rate change during the investment period or simple interest rate change during the loan period. Let look at the investment period from 0 to T. So, T is the end of the investment period. Okay. So, P. P stands for principal value, means the investment amount. So, S. S is the accumulated amount at the end of the investment period. Okay, what happened if the simple interest rate change during the investment period. Okay, let's say at the first term denoted by T1. So T1, the simple interest rate equal to R1%. What happened from T1 to T here? So let's say T here represented by T2. Okay. So, second investment period from T1 up to T2, the simple interest rate equal to R2%. Therefore, the total amount for this investment period equal to the principal value plus first interest amount plus second interest amount. So, how to calculate first and second interest amount? Look at this example. Ash deposited RM 2500 at a bank that offers simple interest rate of 9.5% per annum. After two years, the interest rate increased to 10% per annum. Calculate the accumulated amount in his saving account after 5 years. So look at here. First, 9.5%. Next, increase to 10%. So the simple interest rate change during the investment period. First, list all the information. The principal value. 2500 first simple interest rate 9.5 percent second interest rate is 10 percent done investment term so first term equal to two years based on this statement after two years therefore here is two years the okay, next second term equal to three years how second term becomes three years so look at this statement calculate the accumulated amount in his saving account after five years so five years first term equal to two years that's why here become three years five minus two three years First, we calculate interest amount for the first term. Substitute principal value, interest rate, and then the term. 
Therefore, the interest amount after 2 years equal to RM475. Meanwhile, second term, which is 3 years, the interest amount here equal to RM750. So, look at here, based on this two calculation of simple interest amount, the P value here is same, which is 2500. But the value of interest rate and the term is different. Therefore, the accumulated amount in his saving account after 5 years equal to 3725. Means you need to plus this value, the principal value plus simple interest amount for the first 2 years. And then, simple interest amount for the 3 years. Therefore, the total amount equal to 3725. So, this one, step by step, how to calculate the simple amount or the accumulated amount if the simple interest rate change during the investment period. Okay, let's try to solve this example. Mr. Chi decided to invest RM10,000 when his son is born so that his son will have enough fun when he furthers his study at the age of 18. He has chosen to invest in bank QQ that offers a simple interest rate of 8% per annum for the first 10 years and simple interest rate of 10.5% per annum for the rest of the period. Calculate the total amount in the account when his son reached the age of 18 years old. So how to solve this example? First, list the information given. So what is the principal value? 10,000 here. To invest 10,000. Done. What is the interest rate? So here, we have two different interest rates. 8% and 10.5%. So here. Okay, next. What is the information? Is the term. So first is 10 years. So denoted by T1. Second, T equal to 8 years. Why 8? Because the aim of the investment is when his son reached the age of 18 years old. So, 10 plus 8 equal to 18. So, next, first is what we need to calculate is first interest amount. Substitute all the values. Then, the interest amount for the first 10 years equal to RM8000. Okay, next. This one for first 10 years. So, the other 8 years, second interest amount. So, calculate based on the interest rate 10.5%. So, the simple interest amount for the rest of the period equal to RM8400. Therefore, the total amount in the account when his son reached the age of 18 years old equal to 26,400. So, this example shows step by step how to calculate two different interest amount based on two different interest rates but the principal value is same. We proceed to next example. Mr. C made a loan of RM4000 at Bank GH with 6.5% simple interest for 5 years. After 3 years, he borrows another RM3000 from the bank. 
Okay, first, calculate the interest amount charged for the first three years after he made the loan. Second question, calculate the interest amount for the next two years after he made an additional loan. And last question is, find the total amount that he has to pay after five years. So here, what is the information given is two different value of principal value. First is 4,000 here. And then second is 7,000. Why 7,000? Based on 4,000 plus 3,000. So, 4,000 plus 3,000. That's why second principal value equal to 7,000. Okay, next. The simple interest rate equal to 6.5%. Next, the term. So, this one we have two different terms. So, first term is three years. Based on this statement, after three years, therefore, first term equal to three years. Then, second term equal to two years. So, why two years? Based on this information, five years. So, here, five minus three. So, two years for second term. So first, calculate the interest amount for the first three years. So how to calculate interest amount? PRT. So substitute 4,000, 0 0.065 and then the term equal to 3. So the interest amount equal to RM780. So this one, the interest amount for the first three years. Okay, next. Second, to calculate the interest amount for the next two years after he made an additional loan. So here, calculate interest amount 7,000 times 0 0.065 times 2. So the answer equal to RM910. Same interest rate. 0 0.065 but different principal value and different term okay see find the total amount after five years so how to calculate the total amount substitute the principal values and the interest amount so at the end the total amount that he has to pay after 5 years equal to RM 12,690. So this one step by step how to calculate different interest amount for different term but using single interest rate. Okay guys, that's all about the special cases in simple interest. Assalamualaikum and da.